This is a great little dish that I make at home for my family. In fact, it used to be made for me when I was a little tacker. This is pasta lenticchio. I'm going to do it a slightly different way, but it's basically pasta cooked with lentils and beans and lots of other vegetables. Now, it starts with a pot and I'll add some extra virgin olive oil. A nice good splush of it and it will add a great intensity to this dish. Now you can see I've got this plate here. We call this a mirepoix. You've seen me use it a lot. Onion diced, celery diced and carrot. A great combination to giving lots of flavour. And because I've diced it nice and small, it'll cook fairly quickly and those flavours will go all the way through this dish. Now you can see I've got it in the pan here. Stirring it around, I just let it simmer. I don't want it to caramelise, I want it to soften up and that's where I get the best flavour. A good pinch of salt in here now and a twist of black pepper, plenty of that. Now, garlic, and I've got a few cloves here. I can crush them, I can smash them. I'm just gonna slice them all the way through. It's one of those things that when you pick it up on a spoon, you see the garlic there, it looks delicious. That's what I like and that's gonna go all the way through here. Beautiful. Some thyme and some bay leaf. Throw the bay leaf straight in. I'm using a fresh bay leaf, lots of lovely flavour. There's plenty of bay leaves around your suburb. You just need to know where to find them. And this is lovely fresh thyme with some young little shoots here. Plenty of flavour. And I'm just going to slice it all the way through and pop them in here. When you're frying these vegetables and these flavours off in a pan here like this, nice and slowly, all the flavours will come out of it. Now, I like a little bit of chilli in this. I like a little bit of spice, and I reckon it makes it such a better dish. In it goes, a good pinch of dried chilli, and I reckon I might put a little bit more, because I feel like it's spicy today. Now, I'm gonna add some tomato paste, because tomato paste is what sort of brings it together, gives it a bit of thickness, and that really intense flavour that we like. And that should be just enough to give that tomatoey flavour. Now, what I do when I put the tomato paste in, is I stir it around like this, it's almost good to eat like this, but we've still got more to go. Now, butter is one of my favourite things, and you know that, because I love using butter. It just gives it a round flavour. I'm using extra virgin olive oil and butter together, so I'm just adding more flavour, and that's what all this is about. Now, I'll just cut it with a knife there. About 80 grams of butter is what you need. In that goes. And with butter, it's going to soften up all the way through here and melt and make it nice and delicious. That's what I'm looking for. Now, the lentils I'm using today are Dupai lentils. They're really, really small and they cook really quickly. Soak them in a bowl for, you know, 10 minutes or so and that'll help to speed up the cooking time. In those lentils go. I'm just going to mix them around with the oil and the vegetables here. And I reckon we're almost good to bring this whole thing together. Now, I want to add some tomatoes, so I'm using some tin tomatoes. And you can see these ones are great little cherry tomatoes in there, lots of flavour. In that goes, and I'll just stir that around a little bit to bring that all together. Now, I'm using some dried lentils here, but if you don't want to use dried, you can use tinned. It just cooks a lot quicker. So I'll let this simmer away for about a second or so, which is about this, and I'll start adding some stock. I'm using stock. You can use water if you want. You could probably put a splash of white wine in here as well. That'll give it a great flavour. So in this goes, all I need to do now is let it come up to the boil and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, this has been simmering away for about 10 minutes and you can see here the lentils are just about cooked and when it's a little bit firm but I can feel it's just about to squish up, I know I haven't got long. Now this is the next bit. I'm going to put some beans in here. These are tin beans. They don't need to cook for very long so I add them in just towards the end. Now we need the pasta. With this dish you need really good pasta and I'm using some rigatoni. I'll just cut the top off it. This pasta takes about 13 minutes to cook. It's a good idea to read the packet and that gives you an accurate time of your cooking of your pasta. Then you'll never overcook it. I'll put about half the packet in here, stir it around. If it needs some more water, I can just add a little bit of hot water to it, but I reckon this will be perfect. In it goes.
It's ready to go. The pasta's cooked and the little baby lentils are cooked and the bolotti beans that I put in at the end are still holding together beautifully. Now, I like to finish this off with just a little bit of fresh parsley that's been chopped. Stir it through so it stays nice and fresh and green and gives it that lovely flavour. And the pasta is cooked all the way through as well. Now, it's just a matter of spooning it out. And as you can see, it's really started to thicken up. And that's what I'm looking for. It's a half soup, half pasta dish. It's a filling meal that's gonna give you a lot of nutrition and a really full belly. Now, if you want, you could put some cheese on the top, but for me, I like it just like this. Pop this down like that, turn that off, and we'll have a little look. We've got the lentils, the beans, and the pasta cooked all the way through. Mmm, mmm, that's fantastic. The flavour of the lentils, the tomato through there, that is a cracking dish. I'm gonna love eating this.